And now you can have that And I'm about to still go barbecue and eat good. Well, he was thinking refund. What I was thinking, lunch. What's up, people? Welcome back and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of raging moments on hardcore pawn on hardcore pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, returns generator. This woman appears to be quite troubled as she enters the room yelling. Seems out. She came here to recover her right when her generator broke. You are the issue. Do you understand me? You the manager? Do something about it. You're standing here looking at me like you're stupid. First of all. Oh, what you want to do, huh? You look sweet if you ask me, baby. Is you a big baby? What a Ma'am, what happened? She tried to go all up on Byron after becoming horny over him. She would want to scale that mountain, but he would kick her in the ass. I suppose that pleases her. There it is. Look that's at the receipt. That's not my handwriting. Yeah, that's your handwriting. That was you. That wasn't my signature on that receipt. I don't know what this lady's trying to pull, but it's not going to fly with me. If you stop Period. screaming Period. and let me... Don't even talk to me. Ask this ass he has it. Concocting falsehoods is one thing, though. However, calling a manager an asshole and accusing him of doing something he didn't do, the asshole is you. I want it! Yeah, give me my receipt! F***ing ass! F***ing all y'all! We have to get him out of the store as quickly as possible. If she wants to bring this item back another day, I'll be more than happy to take care of her. Have a generator! She entered, made a mess embarrassed herself, and was ejected. If you understand what I mean, Byron assisted her in realizing one of her aspirations. Number two, more green. The woman approaches the window directly in an attempt to pawn her jewelry, but this is not the first time she has come in or pawned the same thing here. Examine it. Uh, they usually give me three. Okay, gold's dropped, so. Uh, that's not my problem with gold is dropped. Well, you're gonna get 250. No, not 250. Get a manager. Um, okay. So, what price did you give her? 250. And you need how much? 3. Okay. Just because the price of gold is going down, that's not my problem. Were you just mocking Nikki, you stupid ass? I'm actually very much disgusted by your existence as a whole. I just have to tell you to get the hell out if you continue like that. Here's here's what you're not understanding. No, I want my $50. You got no, the $50. If you want to no, help give me my extra $50. This is exactly what we feared would happen when customers get offered less than what they're used to. To be honest, I find it sort of gratifying when she screams, Come on, you're not the gold creator, honey. So how can she demand that fee when the price of gold has decreased? This is like real conversation. Take a hold and unwind. Serious? Yeah. You had to bring him around because you scared? I'm not scared. Take your bracelet and have a day. everybody in here. Have a good day. You ain't big. Have a good day. Have a good you day. ain't big. No, I will day. drop you. American jewelry pawn, whatever you are. Sure, there is no mother freaking question that this woman lost it. Does she truly believe that she can handle Byron? That's just so adorable. Indeed, best of luck with that. Number three, phone, quote, phone, quote. You are indeed right. That quote was, you guessed it, $400. Yes, she just heard that. But was there anything else she heard? In my opinion, no. Who'd you talk to? Nicole. Nicole, over the phone. Yes, ma'am. But we don't see them over the phone. She is lying. Can I see your merchandise while I'm at work and while you're sitting in your living room? I don't think so. Where Nikki at? Nikki. Nikki, Nicole. Well, which is it, Nicole or Nikki? It's real diamond. All I know is I need my 400. I believe the phone got stuck in her asshole and made its way to her head, telling her that she should be getting $400, but she isn't getting that sort of attention. I adore the way she gave up on the absurdity. Oh, so what you're saying is you're not gonna give me that $400, right? No, I'm not, and you're not gonna come in here demanding money from me. Yes, the f I am, because that's what I call, and they told me that they was gonna give me $400. Now, where the f is Nikki at? Uh, where the f Nikki yet? Nikki! What? No, Nikki! Where is bitch at? She all of a sudden darted away from me, started screaming for Nikki. It was like a bat out of hell. Dear God, everyone is about to go down. Take caution. Since Nemele is not in this for fun, she is going to devour this entire space. Ashley, take note of this challenge. I don't even know her. You lying there, hey, bitch! Don't you know that? I need my mother money right now! And your bitch! Okay. Everybody in this mother your bitch! Although Nikki does exist, she is most definitely not Nicole. Regardless, what matters is that they managed to remove that enormous idiot from the store. I would be incensed if she had said anything even somewhat disrespectful. Number 4. Human hair. In all honesty, that wasn't the real issue at all, but this one is very sure she can sell some hair in the fur area. This lady is the issue, not her. Um, uh, I got some merchandise here. I was wondering if you could buy it for me. It's Chinese women hair. 
It's who? Chinese bohemian. Chinese boy man? Bohemian. Oh, bohemian. bohemian. Uh-huh. Bohemian. And I paid $1,000 for it. Arizona? I'm pretty sure that I've been this close to this freaking wig before. I mean, where in the name of Satan did this woman acquire this ridiculous notion? Stupid, indeed. You know, it's a lot of things you can do with it. It's good hair. It's it's very beautiful. You want to see me put it on for you again? Sure. God, look, you see how I'm on? I'm watch change. Bam! Hold the first name. I'm sorry. The health department won't let us sell used hair. OP. That gaze said it all. She was clearly offended. After all, Leslie called her smelly and filthy in a variety of ways, and he would have none of it anymore. Sorry, I wish I could help you, so come this back. Come, come back on, when you have... Come back. I'm trying to do right now. Well, right now. Why don't you escort her to the salon department? I need you. Is it a salon? Is it a salon in here? Yeah, it's a blow. He's gonna... He's blowing it to you right there. Twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it all the way up. How daring of Leslie to believe she is a drag queen. She proves that she is a true woman, my guy, by twerking as though it validates her assertion. I'm glad she went to the parking lot of the salon. Number five, Caddy Teens. Two teenagers blew up both the shop and Leslie's face. They are requesting a reimbursement for a computer that didn't seem to function. It was simply turned off due to a dead battery, but whatever. Laptop on for us, uh -huh. and it came on, but then uh, it, it just shut off. went off. I'm gonna need you to go back there and get the refund. I'm sorry. We yeah. sold it to you. We gave you the adapter for it. No, you no, didn't. didn't. Show me the receipt. We don't we have, have the receipt. The fact that these two moron individuals lack their receipts doesn't even surprise me. Who among them has ever received his ticket with him at this point in the store's history? You just saw us the other day. You remember us. I do. You don't have the adapter that I gave you. You never gave us an adapter. So go home. Why can't you help us? I don't you want to go home. Because I'm not about to take this home. Lord, please. Now I'm really upset with all that nonsense. They came in shouting and didn't even get the adapter or the receipt. There are those who are truly high. Not Bring that. me the receipt we'll never and we'll take care we'll of it. Never there you go. I gave you the receipt oh, and an right. adapter. So, how much can I listen to this? Oh, please, let's go. Oh, okay, let's go. Have a good day. Great teamwork, Byron and Les. It was too easy for the computer to pass. However, we eventually caught these two rowdy kids outside the shop. Number six, angry rednecks. Some laid back hippie looking men enter with an old computer set in the hopes of getting a good deal for it. What do you think? Seth will not be fooled by this deception. Got some equipment here. Yeah. We need some money. We're going to out west. We killed all the deer in Michigan, so we gotta go out for bigger and better stuff. So how much are you looking for? About $900. I thought that they were kidding. The last time I saw one of these computers was in the 80s. Um, what I can offer you is zero. Zero. Damn. Seth seriously just did that shit. I mean, he seriously just dropped the whole ass price to zero. I mean, he really has a point because that's some unvaluable shit. Most people don't get that aggravated when they bring in like ancient artifacts. Yeah, people want... collect these. Oh, they're antiques now. You don't have to be a smart ass I'm not about trying to be a smart ass, I'm trying to help I'm giving us a thing, man. We'll take 800. Zero. That's How many times do I need to tell no, you? We're not interested in it. This is the proper way to handle jerks like these two guys. In all fairness, zero is a very reasonable price. However, they didn't handle it very well. I suppose karma will get them eventually. Put it in the dumpster! Take your ass on out of here! Mind your own business! you people! Now you can have it! Yes, he was dealt a harsh lesson in karma. He severed the connection with that guy and the crap out of the screen. To be honest though, with all that reprimanding, this woman truly ate their soul. We adore watching it. Number seven, liquor bottle. A confident looking woman comes in, carrying a bottle of booze as if she might sell it, but the bottle of whiskey is empty. Can that work at all? Woman comes in to sell me a high-end bottle of liquor. The problem was the liquor was gone. Ma'am, I can't use it. I'm terribly yeah, sorry. Yeah, but don't belittle nobody and don't belittle what they have. I wasn't because belittle. Because it's not valuable. Well, and that's so what they're worth. So you want to take a person down when they're in need? Dollars. They're 1200 You well. That's more than 100 dollars Hey, sweetie, we all know you're having difficulties. It is unnecessary to treat less disrespectfully, though, when he is acting in such a courteous manner. Just show that you understand nothing more. But anytime you're gonna be little a person, Damn, I didn't belittle they, you. I'll give you a hundred dollars. It's not worth more than a hundred bucks. They're eight hundred dollars filled with liquor. When you get sick, money ain't gonna feed you or heal you. You treat people like 
This woman has to stop right away. Just send someone down from above to stop her fully, please. Yes, a miracle is needed. Walk up to my baby, dad. Hey, baby, don't point your fingers at me. Belittle him face. and talk about baby, his store so and talk about face. his health and talk about his life after this. Don't you dare ever come in you here again. In Turn your ass around with your alcohol breath and walk your fat ass out the door now. Never mind. All is okay. In fact, we were dealt one of the biggest villains in the Bible. She faces her head on since she knows that she is making fun of Leslie in addition to con artists. Number 8. Singledom. A woman enters and tries to purchase a ring for herself. Essentially, it's for her singledom, meaning we have a singledom, and she's the most single of them all. Okay, so we have a princess cut in the center, round diamonds on the side, set in 14 karat, and that one's 675. Um, I like it, but I mean, I don't think this ring is worth 675. What do you want to pay for it? 450. How serious you are? 500. 425. You just said 450. Well, if you're willing to go to five, that means you're willing to go lower, right? It's just really strange that this female is negotiating backward. It's strange because it makes a lot of sense and is oddly intelligent. Now I'm lost. Well, I didn't ask you what you do in Michigan. I asked you how much you wanted for the ring. I gave you a price. 425 is what I want to pay without tax. I need a guy. I don't really want to deal with you. Yeah, a guy. Uh -huh. I want someone with a penis. Unless you have one that I'm unaware of, I, I want a man now. Of all the breathing and alive humans, she is, in fact, the most single. To sell this woman the ring, a man is required. The hell. How's it even relevant to the deal? If not, then yeah. move we don't on deal with sex someone. things here. We don't deal with sex. How about you hey. hit that man right down? He's a man. Don't touch me. Jealous ass bitch. Wish you look like me. Shove it, bitch. Where the sun don't shine, where your man don't want to even touch you. Why are you even purchasing a ring for yourself, honey, if you are so touched? This expresses your desertion for a man. Being you is awful. Number 9. Throws. Fit. It appears that this lad is getting married this weekend, which is why he wants to show off his ring. Will he, however, be able to attend the wedding after all that drama he caused? Items get pulled and put back to stock. So I can issue you a store credit, and we can go and see if your item is still in the showcase. You're gonna give me my $4,000 store credit? No, so what we do is we take 10%. That's not cool. I can tell from the expression on his face and the movement of his hand that he was thinking to himself, bitch, please. Literally, you can just hear it. Your error, your repercussions. Where are we going? Can I, excuse me? Where did she go? Excuse me? Hi. Okay, so I'll take you around the showcase where it would be. That's, it's not you in look here. look that fast? I'm quick. You didn't even, like, browse. I don't want to so browse. I want my you. ring. I want my ring. It's becoming annoying, and you need to go. So I'm going to put your ass on hold and hold your ass to get you out of this store. It would have jumped out at me, bitch. I would have been that found okay. the ring by now. First of all, the... oh, first don't of all. call me a bitch. If you wanted it that badly, you would have been in here on time. Bitch, gotta... no. I just want the f ring. Why you got it? Nobody calls me a bitch in my me. store. You are a Never come up in this raggedy ass place again. Have a good day. And I want to thank you for everything that you asked and more. These customers are so insane. It's almost unbearable. How is the gold household run? Number 10, Foxy Lady. This woman walks in hoping to turn a tidy profit on the coat she's wearing. Still, no, no, it's not going to work, my dear. Still, she came in silently and departed enraged. How much you want? At least a thousand. It's very pretty. Thank you. The problem is that we don't go that kind of money on those because we can't sell them for that kind of money. So how much would you give me? I'll give you a hundred. Now, Les, it was a big mistake. The mistake you just made might end up costing you your life, as this woman's sassiness has the potential to murder us all. Feel it. Feel how good this feels. Okay, you got me up. Mm -mm. It's Fox. This is a rabbit, a bird, whatever the I want it to be. What the hell does she want it to be? A bird or a rabbit? Yes, in your dreams, my love. In your luxurious images. He not no mother ass bird. Look at that. Oh, his chin is fur. When you demand of us to give you money that is unrealistic, like $1,000 for a $100 coat, we're not gonna do it. I need Take rent him. money. Take him a $100 bill. Y'all mother don't know who y'all with up in here. This mother mean coat. It's Fox. She really, truly slipped into that trap. You know, from being all poised and confident to being bashful and shouting and spreading bullshit, she changed. Number 11, kicked out. From the get-go, this asshole was very much disrespectful towards his girlfriend, but Seth won't let it pass that easily. I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. What's the goal? That's 18 karat, right? 18 karat. Okay. That's the highest you'd go. 900 bucks. That's ridiculous. Well, it's not ridiculous. That's what I can offer you. Tell me what it is. I mean, tell me what to do. Stop talking. This is man, man talking right now. 
So this punk kid walks in with two rings, has his girlfriend stand behind him, and completely disrespects her in front of everybody at the store. I don't even want to do business with this guy because he's such an ass. Well said, Seth. The fact that each second she even tries to talk, he shuts her up instantly. And keep in mind, he's doing all that even after he charged his car. Just Dude, stop seriously, why are you Just such stop. an ass? No, you need. No, I don't no. need to. You're so my you're, store. It is, is my, my property. Business. This it's not my your pro property. Do She's I tell your own property what to do? You're on my property, so I can tell you what to do. I'm, I'm telling you what to do. Don't be an ass okay. your girl. Yeah, you freaking heard him right, dumb ass. I mean, how the hell are you gonna even defend yourself after disrespecting the shit out of him? Make me get out. Yeah, I will. Make me get out. Right now. Who the f are you? Who the f are you? I mean, this is bull this. This. You. This girl's young. Hopefully one day she'll wise up, move on, and realize that this guy's a complete tool. Trying to be a good boyfriend, right? And she started talking for no apparent reason, ruined my chances to get her car fixed, that I crashed. He's still going, bro. The freaking audacity on this dude. Seriously. Now, what the hell has happened to you as a kid? Because you surely turned out to be the biggest asshole. Number 12. Fake Gucci. A lady enters and tries to pawn her pocketbook. Though this Gucci purse appears pricey. Have a peek at this one instead. <laughs> 50 bucks. Why is it $50? The certificate and everything is in there. And the bag costs actually way more than that. Well, if you can tell, it's actually stained. Okay. All through here. I'm trying to sell it for $150 or get a loan. $75. Yeah, I wasn't interested in more than $50. If you know purses, then you know this is cost way more than it. It is clearly fake. Ashley, let me just offer you some guidance. Even if she appears to be calm, do not go into further detail about why this is actually 50 bucks, exploding in a matter of seconds. This is not one of the newer ones. This is not this season. I know about purses. But you're still willing to buy for $50, though. So if it wasn't worth why would you even say $50? They didn't say it wasn't worth can I talk to somebody else? I'm gonna talk to your pepperoni looking ass. Can I get somebody My pepperoni else? looking ass. How does pepperoni look? I won't lie. That is a very inventive roast. I have no idea what it signifies, and I have no desire to find out. I simply enjoy it. But wait, Ashley, I forgot about her. Can I get somebody else to talk to? It don't even matter. I don't have to talk to you. And I don't have to talk to you either, so why do you go home? Why do I have to talk to you? Because you disrespectful. I'm, I'm disrespectful and you call me a pepperoni ass? Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. You're that not was. the owner. The owner is the other man. You, you must have. How you get here? You your way to the top. F you. She's not gonna come to the store and say that to Ashley. No, honey. Ashley did not screw her way to the top. She happens to be the owner's daughter. Oh, anyways. Big fella, can I help you? Yo, my man, let me talk to no, you. No, man. You're not coming here with that bag. This man. is my bag, man. You cannot bring this no, bag man. to the store, my man. If you're going to bring a bag in our store, we're going to inspect it. It's just our policy. What's up, people? Welcome back. And get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of weirdest moments on hardcore pawn. Let's hop into it. Number one, online romance. Peter, a man, enters and tries to purchase some jewels. He has a number of watches, a number of rings, and several other items. We'll see whether he strikes it lucky today. Hi. Hi, how are you? Peter. Peter, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, there's a reason I'm here today. My fiance is in the Ukraine. As you might imagine, coming from Eastern Europe, it's quite expensive, so... Are you originally from there? I was born and raised here. Given that he is here and she is there, I assume she went to Ukraine on business, or for some other reason, but I'm not certain. Regardless, it's really kind of him to come see her. That guy is cool. And I was able to meet Lena there. Are you kidding me? Get a mail-order bride from the Ukraine. I went to see her for the first time, and we knew very quickly, and we got engaged. And oh, so you've been with her since? Yeah, twice. You've only been with your fiance twice? Ten days each time. I can't believe this guy was so open to tell me about his sketchy relationship. Well, um, never thought. After barely 20 days together, this guy genuinely made the decision to marry and live out the rest of his life with this person. It's frightful. You know what? I'll take five for the ring. I'll do 450. I think I'll pass. Split it with you. 475. You got a deal. You got a deal? Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Ashley. I'm gonna go home and buy the ticket to bring Lena here to Detroit. And then I'll bring her down and introduce her to Ashley. Yes. I don't believe introducing her to Ashley will be a very good idea, especially since, to be honest, she refuses to give to Fs. You do you, boo, but be sure you do it somewhere else. Number two, drunk guy. This man walks in wanting to sell or pawn a ring. It's a freaking gigantic ring. It can fill the whole fist of a toddler. But this man seemed really weird from the get-go. I wonder why. This guy smelled like a brewery. Okay, how much did you want? I'd like 500 for it. Why? Why? Because I need it. Yeah, I, I, I get got you. two DUIs and I got some fines and I need it. Well, if it was gold, I'd give you more than 500, but it's not real. 
Ope, I really like his sense of self-importance, providing Leslie with some rather foolish responses. You just got it, and we know it's a ring. Oh, God. Problem is, I can't give it to you if you don't got it. I need $500 for I'm it. I'm sure you do. You gotta give me something for it. I can't give it to you. I'm sorry. Give it to me anyway. Man, you can give me something for it. This guy was drunk. Yes, he was drunk. This dude really irritates me. I mean, really, why would you walk up to the shop intoxicated and attempt to sell your fake ass shit? However, was I the only one who perceived a threat? I ain't leaving here. Man, get away from you. He was screaming like a little child. He lucky my mom wasn't there. He probably would have got his ass whooped. <laughs> yes, Joe. He is very fortunate. He is, in fact. He was hauled outside while on the ground, by the way. Right now, this individual truly has no control over his own mind. Thankfully, he is no longer there. Number three, the pimp. It looks like acting. Who is pimp? I see no prick at all. Anyway, this individual was truly cast aside and returned to his rightful place. And I'll make sure to welcome him back and eject him if he dares to return. Number Number 4. Pawning Laptop This woman walks in wanting to pawn her laptop to get her son into a technical high school. Honestly, bless her heart. That shit is really sweet and thoughtful. Let's see what happens. You head in for 100. But I need 150. I know, but I can't give you 150. Okay, but can you consider the fact that I've been patronizing this business since 97? Uh, I really appreciate you. No, being... you are not yes, appreciate yes, my business. Yes, I do. I cannot. I'm asking for help. You're telling me you can't help me, so evidently you don't appreciate. You don't Am I offering you zero? Do you want the 100? No, no, I don't. Okay, then goodbye. I'm... Ope, I noticed the expression. I noticed the look. Was it simply me who noticed it? Not in my opinion, because the expression was as stern as they come. Without a doubt, this chick is going to stir up some crap. This lady comes in with a laptop. She wanted over $150. You know, I upped the loan to $100, and she wasn't having it. You can walk out the store. I can, and but am will. I going to walk out? You will. Who's going to make? Oh, I want to see somebody make me leave up out of this mother Are you a lady or are you a child? I don't give a what I am. What the hell are you with your wrinkled eyed ass? No, she didn't. She did not just treat Ashley with such disdain, but she'd best not play that prank on us again. Ashley herself is going to boot her ass out of the store. And don't, oh. don't think that you won't, because all I got to do is make a phone call. You know what? Wait. Get out. Don't touch me. Do not Get out. touch me. I've been patronizing this business since 97. You have an English degree, right? No, I don't. <laughs> y'all. Yeah. Felix humiliated this woman in an instant. He essentially just gave her the gentlest, most innocent roasting there is. Anyway, her voice irritates me so much that I'm relieved she's no longer with us. Number 5. My Way This man walks in wanting to sell these old TVs or microwaves. I really have no idea what these are, but he gets really angry when he is told they might actually not even take them. Yeah, what's going on, man? What's going on, cuz? I was trying to tell your man, I'm gonna get a couple dollars, you know what I'm saying? About 30, 40, you know? Yeah, I'm not interested. <laughs> Damn, y'all ain't trying to look out at all. Nigga, wow. you got cubs. You right know it's here. outdated. You got pops standing behind me. What's up with that? Nothing. You just called me a scene. On that, on that bum ass. <laughs> Listen, mother. Don't be throwing the at me, you understand? This man became extremely irate for no apparent reason. They've made it pretty obvious that they're not interested. So why in the world are you kicking about, you know? Hold Tell them bring my out. What up, though, cuz? I'm up here at this mother alone. Take your hands off my mother. I don't care how old I am, I'm never too old to beat your ass. American jury, don't try to stare me down either, cause y'all gotta close. Just what did you say? Hey, mother trucker, really? You already make a lot of trouble in the store? I'll make sure to come down from above and give you a lesson if you continue doing this. Y'all ain't <laughs> Try to step up like they with some players, they ain't really in my ball game. I'm in for real. I'm up, this. This mother Thought he was a badass. As you can see, I'm a badass. You really are a badass. Nobody storms into the shop and begins hurling objects and making threats at the ridiculous proprietor. All right, so you'll be treated like the beast that you are? Number six, golf clubs. A man comes in angrily confused because a worker would not want to actually take these golf clubs. So he went to the manager to see what he could do. Good luck, Les. But what's wrong with him? How much did you want for him? At least 150. Uh -huh. I can go 10 bucks. $10 for all these clubs? All of them. Dad, let me see a manager, man. Hello, hello. Let me see a manager. You're that don't make no sense. I'm a manager. You're not no manager, man. This is Joe the manager. Who, him? Get out of here. So y'all playing games. I just want to see a manager. That's it. You're not going to give me no crackhead price. 
here I was thinking, really, this man assumed Les was the manager, so he went to him to find out why these golf clubs weren't working. What a moron that man is. You're not gonna play me like no crackhead. Follow me. Don't touch my golf clubs. Whatever. You gonna give me my money. I ain't going nowhere until I get my money. I want my 150, I know that much. Do you wanna keep your 50%? I swear, at this point, you're truly digging your own damn grave. To begin with, this isn't even your money. Go out of the store now, please. Kill you. You. you time give me my money. That I go. Okay. Don't put your hands on me. We figured you would. Look at how big he is, and look at the size of me. But you know what? At the end of the day, I ain't scared of nobody. What he did know is how to get thrown out of a pawn shop. Ah! Though he truly feels like a beat, he wishes he had the might of one. Come on. We all witnessed his intimidation, right? Was I the only one, or what? Number seven, phone call. This woman doesn't have her ticket, yet she proceeds right to the window believing she pawned her microphone. Furthermore, yet, there's another major issue we have. Look into this. Cause I, I you know, no problem. I will find you a man. We give the customer a buy sheet or we give them a pawn sheet. It is not our responsibility once they leave the window. She didn't look at the piece of paper she had when she walked away, so she didn't know she sold it. That's her fault, not ours. She sold us the merchandise. Now she's back a few weeks later wanting her merchandise back. It doesn't work like that. How could she be so ignorant as to be unaware that she had sold it rather than pawned it? I realize that I'm often in awe of people, but this woman is the height of foolishness. Ma'am, 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 you have to leave. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Ma'am, you have to leave. Come with me. No, Please. I'm not leaving. Ma'am, come with me. Nobody threatens me without a response. My response was get off the premises. Ma'am, you need to I'm get off. I'm not up. getting up. Get up. This woman is about to learn a very hard lesson. She's actually threatening them now. Really, she answered a phone call that she thought would be helpful, but it would be her last. Nobody threatens me without a response. You gonna have to Come go away. You gonna see when he get up here. Just wait right here with Bring me. Him. You gotta go home. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. No Bitch, move. I'll probably be mad too, you know what I'm saying? If I let this way in her head now. Ooh, I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that others have also noticed these eyelashes, don't they? It hurts for me and her eyes to simply look at this stuff. At least she moved on and is no longer dealing with such nonsense. Number eight, the bag. A man walks in almost immediately with the biggest bag I have ever seen. Oh, and by the way, it appears to be pointless. Big folk, can I help you? Yo, my man, let me talk to no, you. No, man. You're not coming in here with that bag. This man. is my bag, man. You, you cannot bring this no, bag man. in the store, my man. If you're going to bring a bag in our store, we're going to inspect it. It's just our policy. Less. You're exactly right. Do whatever needs to be done, my guy. Because if you don't, this trash is going to explode in your face. Come on, man. Give me this bag. What do you think I'm doing? Give me that damn bag, man. Mother <laughs> Give me that bag. Give me that bag. <laughs> the next thing I know, this guy bolted like a son of a bitch. What do you think? I'm not gonna unzip the bag and look inside? To be honest, he was hanging onto it by a thread. However, enough of this absurdity. Dude, just face him and quit hiding behind your words. Well, at least we will know now. Oh my god! Oh my god. What the hell? Holy oh There's a man in there! Whole heck, that was not what I had expected at all. And why, in the name of heaven, wasn't this man screaming? Is this place being pranked in any way? Number nine, invisible phone. A mom walks in wanting to buy her child a present. She's definitely looking for a valuable gift, but all of a sudden, she loses something. Anything catches your eye that you want me to pull out? I was kind of looking at some of these watches. Okay. Where the hell is my phone? Something wrong? Yeah, my phone. I, did you take my phone? Take your phone. There was never a phone on the showcase. <laughs> Look, I ain't crazy. Crazy. Yeah, man, I just yo, laid my phone yo, down. This woman looked lost. She behaved lost. And I'm not sure what she's thinking right now. Whoa, buddy. What in the world is happening? She is definitely going to make a stir. That's my damn phone. Man, you see your I know you better back no, no, your ass up. Yo, my yo, you better get this lady because I ain't got yo, nothing. Please, yo, listen, listen, crazy. Listen. These ladies need to finish their business outside. She genuinely got very angry at the other woman and anything else you could think of without any good cause. There was never a telephone. Quit beating up on that girl. Hey, what's your problem? Oh, oh my for God. Sake. Yo, gangster years is over with, baby. Calm down. You ain't gonna need that cane. Go ahead, put hey, the cane no. down. Chill out. Man, don't hurt nobody. Watch how you use that cane. Shut the hell up. You got grandkids? Granddad! 
Have a nice day, sweetheart. She may suddenly become a true mobster. Therefore, if she has grandkids, they need to be protected at all costs. She needs assistance. Number 10. Olive Spitter. This woman enters with the intention of seeing what her watch can provide. The catch is this, though. Moreover, the lady is not truly womaning. Okay, well, what can you do? To be honest, mm -hmm. I'm really not interested in them. You see how it's faded in the back? Mm hmm I was scratched on the crystal. I mean, but what's the real point? So you're saying you can do nothing with the watch? It's just nothing that I can be able to help you with. Really, this woman doesn't comprehend anything, does she? Your watch isn't even functional, girl. The purpose of a watch is to show the time. What is the current value if you are unable to? I don't have any money to get back and forth home, so unless you're going to leave your job and take me home, then you need to do something with that. I'm no. not giving you anything. There's nothing what, you would do? What, what, what are those? All of them. Why you I don't want any. But you she starts spitting out olives in the middle of my showroom. Do I go to her house and start spitting my food on her floor? No, Seth, you don't, because you are polite, something she clearly lacks. Does she truly want Seth to take her home now? It's not his fault that you chose to get here penniless. I think you are. I know I'm not. I think you are. Well, thought wrong. Well, get it fixed, bitch, because it's real. Take it out of here right now. Get your banana shirt and have an ass off of me. Don't touch me. Oh, you gonna sit my over here? Because I'll never be back up in this bitch. Promise? All you do is run your mouth. Promise me you'll never come back. Amazing. This woman ought to have been outside earlier. She really entered and caused herself extreme embarrassment by making a scene. She is the epitome of stupidity. Number 11. Fake diamonds. This woman claims that her niece purchased her a set of earrings, but she wants her money back because there isn't a receipt. Now, as it is, who's money? So there's two problems here. The first problem, you don't have the receipt. If you had a receipt, you'd like this. Second of all, no cash. on the receipt, it says no cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. These are fake. This woman's face is giving off a death look. This bitch is ready to get burned by her. For heaven's sake, either freaking walk out of the store or just friggin' stop talking and come to an agreement. Come on. I've played this game before. I know this was a scam. Period. Where are you talking to you? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Can you help me? Can you give me my money? Can you give me a different pair of earrings? Anything. No. Oh, wait. No. Your short ass gonna tell me. Are you angry because your coat's so tight? Oh. She believed Bobby J would save her, but she was undoubtedly mistaken in her assumptions. I've seen some very dumb folks, but this one tops them all. Our second option what? is you can get the receipt and then- Ain't no motherfucking receipt. receipt! It ain't can no receipt! Can you finish me? No. I think it's time to leave. I'm not going nowhere. Little ass baby, you need to go get fair right quick. Bobby J, yeah, it's true. Maybe he, if he sit on the toilet, his legs swing. But leave the man alone. Good one, Joe. I mean, this woman is literally making fun of Bobby J for just existing. At this point, I can't help but question whether she's genuinely angry because her coat is too tight. Number 12. CPR Dummies. A woman walks in and attempts to push CPR Dummies. In case you don't know either, I'll try to guess that you practice CPR on Dummies, I think. So how am I supposed to even know if these are working? Because I am not going to put my mouth on each one of these Dummies. I'm not testing them. Have you ever done CPR? Yeah, actually. <laughs> of course, he comes in to finish the job. When my boyfriend appeared out of nowhere, the craziest thing was tested on him. This is really, really terrifying. Did the chest go up? Yeah, uh -huh. the chest went up. He like keeps going. <laughs> I didn't ask for him to do it 10 times. I asked him to do it once. His eyes were closed. I think those are his girlfriends. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Now I'm going a little faster than I should. There's, there's timing in between. We understand. Like, uh, we, we just wanted to make sure that the chest went up and down. Indeed, he did find it really pleasing. Yes, Leslie, he really does think that's his girlfriend. My man, you really did show us how to do CPR and much more. The thing is, these are two years old. I think it's a fair deal. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, CPR kit, $100 buy. If she thinks we're going to sell these, she's a dummy. Well, the good thing, Rick don't have to worry about a date tonight. Wonderful, Les. Rick just knows he's spending the entire night on a date. I'd like not to even consider what he might do on his date. How are you today? I'm doing all right. Good. I bought this two days ago here, uh -huh. and this thing broke down. Do you have your receipt? No, I don't. You have to have a receipt. If you have your receipt, I can take care of you. But I know I bought it off of you. Here's this guy telling me that I sold him this snowblower two days ago. Two days ago? was my day off. What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a Hardcore Pawn video full of desperate people on Hardcore Pawn. Number one, 35. A woman walks in wanting to buy a TV for $35. I mean, there literally is $35 TVs, but now the ones she was aiming for, so let's check this shit out. That's taking all day. I got Let me it. go with my TV. I'm right here. What's that? 
$35 TV. No, no, no. Yeah? I want one of these TVs. Right. Sound right there, $35 for a TV in this butt, near what? It says 19 The flash screen. I want that right there. I'm not taking this home. Huh? Let's unhook this one right here. She wants to buy a $100 TV for $35? Damn, this woman is hella insane, not gonna lie. Excuse you. No, excuse you. No, excuse you. I need my TV. You no, want this TV? It's 35. Want I want this one. Do so you want this one? So this for one's 100. I'm not trying to hear what the you're trying to say. I want one of these flat screen TVs. Perfect. 100 bucks. No. This is false advertisement. I need to take the down. Did anyone notice that she actually was going to grab a $100 TV? and take it with her while she has a payment of 35. Yeah, this never happens as long as you're bullshitting. Oh, I'm gonna get a TV. I need to take that whole ass sand down, fake advertise, butt out. Keep walking. No, stop. We're not stopping. Just get your hands off of me. Just keep walking. Kiss my ass, it's big too, ain't it? I think she was DWI. Big fat ass for you to kiss. Have a nice day. Don't worry, honey. We all can see that huge ass of yours, but I don't think anyone would actually want it. Because to be honest, it's full of fat and shit. So bye-bye. Number two, snowblower. A guy walks in wanting to return or get a refund for something he bought two days prior to the second he walked in. But this is not true, and you'll know why shortly. Okay. I'm doing all right. Good. I bought this two days ago here, uh -huh. and this thing broke down on me. Do you have your receipt? No, I don't. You have to have a receipt. If you have your receipt, I can take care of you. But I know I bought it off of you. Here's this guy telling me that I sold him this snowblower two days ago. Two days ago was my day off. And oop, this guy was caught in a lie. Laugh my freaking ass off. I have no clue how he will be recovering from that mistake, but good luck. I got contracts for him. Mm -hmm. For him and I'm behind on my work because this junkie snowblower broke down on me. Okay, show and me. And I your... paid good money for how it. How much did you pay? 150 I paid for it. Okay, show me the receipt. Why in the f can't you give me another snowblower? I could if you had your receipt. Why isn't this guy actually understanding all that shit? I mean, he literally just freaking walks in wanting a refund without a freaking receipt. That will only happen in his dreams. A snowblower. You got one? No. What I want that? a new one. Tell me what that's called. This is called a snowblower. There you go. So now you got one. So why don't you escort this gentleman? Don't touch don't me. Don't touch him. Well, I'm unhappy. Yeah, well, what else is new? Good luck plowing snow today. Did he actually just leave this snowblower here? Wow, it just shows you how desperate people can be. What the hell is wrong with these people nowadays? Thank God he's out. Number three, ad tattoo. The most bizarre request ever put forward. A store logo tattoo for money on someone's body. To be honest, it is extremely intelligent, but gosh. Holy moly. I got a whole bunch of free space oh. right here. Would you include our website? Can I put your website on there? I love American Jewelry, but you don't see me going out and getting a tattoo of this place on my stomach. How much money did you want? Well, I'm looking at a range for about thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Yes. Two hundred bucks. Um, cease, cease, cease. In reality, Leslie is aiming for that shot. That person would never purchase a human billboard. Astute? Sure. Inept? Yes. Also. If I can make a deal with this guy, he's gonna have a new tattoo. Wait, you wear a shirt, so you'd be covering it up. No, I wouldn't be covering it up. I'd walk around with my shirt off if I had to. The guy's gonna have to wake up tomorrow with a big American Joy and Loden logo on his stomach. I think you really need to think it out. It's already been thought out. Yeah. I really don't give a damn what my kids say. I wanna make the deal. I'm making the deal. Leslie has a lot riding on that thing. His goal is to close the deal. However, Seth isn't really committed to this one at all. Just have fun, dude, and sell this tattoo to the guy. So sticking around five, four, I'll, I'll take Take it. 250. Can't do it. Sorry. Sorry about it. Yes, sir. For 250 bucks, I could have had 50 or 60 years of advertising. I don't know what it would look like on an 80-year-old guy, but you know what? The wow factor would have definitely brought us business. Right now, I'm giving thanks to God. It was not the right thing for this man to do in the first place. Simply come, sell a few random items in the store, and earn some cash. Number four, no bathrooms. After her divorce, this woman enters the store to pawn her wedding band, but she has been waiting a long time. She has to go to the restroom. So I can't pay on my wedding ring, so I won't lose it. You know, I've been waiting a lot for 45 minutes. This is terrible. Y'all have a restroom? I have to use it. No, ma'am. You don't have a restroom? No, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. So you gotta use the bathroom? Yeah, unfortunately, I can't allow you to use the bathroom. We don't have a public bathroom because it's a safety issue. You know, who knows what's gonna go on behind those closed doors? We don't have cameras, and so we just don't have customers go in the back. Yes, I do respect that policy. Some individuals may be acting irrationally, smoking marijuana, or doing everything else they can to get in there and get all worked up on each other. Definitely a bad idea. How much do you use the loan facility? Yes! All right, so 3% is what I charge, right? That's because it's policy. I can charge you 5% if you'd like. What's that got to do with it? Well, because I'm we're talking, talking about, about policy. Because we're talking, talking about policy. About so, the so we're talking about it. What's you up? ain't gonna threaten her like that. Come on, 3%. You give him 3%, 5%. What the hell that mean? 
this place home to the We Want a Bathroom gang? What was the origin of this woman? This was comparable. Search it up if you do not know what that means. So I gotta go out in the parking lot and pop a squat? Well, if you do, that's, you know... That's what? I don't think that's legal. I didn't understand it. So she was getting all irate. And I'm like, sorry, there's nothing I can do. I can explain this a hundred right. times. Thank you. No, I'm I'm going to the bathroom. You're at least using the restroom now. You're lucky. Huh? How could one anticipate a pawn shop? The store has a lot of cash and a lot of unowned items. Daring. Number five, remote car. Enter a mute man who attempts to sell you a remote control automobile. To be honest, I thought this guy was very strange. Just answer him, please. How are you? Fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Les. How you doing, Les? Good. Perfect. Okay, what you got? I have a gas-powered car here. Yeah. It has a real engine in it that really runs. I could try to start it right in here. All right, we'll take it outside. You want to take it outside? Here comes a guy with a 15 year old little racing car. It was pretty cool. Problem was, couldn't get it started. To be honest, the guy seemed to have no idea what he brought in with him or how to sell it, so I'm not really shocked that this didn't get started. It's like a, I, starting a lawnmower. You my know. lawnmower started immediately. <laughs> yeah. Started, stay here till six. <laughs> yeah. I want you to start sweating. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh. Would you like me to pull it for you? Like me in the morning, you know, it takes a few. <laughs> this sounded rather disgusting, or am I the only one that thinks that way? Less. Go ahead and assist. I mean, at this point, we can never really tell what's going to happen. You like that, don't you? Okay, I'm gonna go try to make a living. <laughs> so if you get it started, come and get me and I'll, we'll talk about this. How's that sound? This guy never seems to respond, does he? I could never fit into his shoes. Not because I was embarrassed. I couldn't care less about that, but because my back would have hurt like a bitch. Number six, Beep Star. I have never seen something as strange as this in my whole life. To be honest, I initially believed he was an actor. As it happens, he's an expert in something that some of you would find interesting. How you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm okay. I've got a lot of vintage stag movies from the 70s. How many movies do you have? Yeah. Probably 300. 300, 300 here, or? But I just brought a few samples. Yeah, I'm You're even in there? some of them. Are you you are? Yeah. What's your name? Bones Daly. This guy. Oh. Indeed, very little is known about this individual. I can't exactly put my finger on it yet, but I have a feeling that this man is up to something with these films. I remember you. Sorry. Yeah, I, it was a short-lived career. What were you specializing in in the, in oh, the movies? I my oh. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, wow, that's really exciting. First of all, sickening. Next of all, sickening. Wow. <laughs> Less. I wanted to let you know that even though it's incredibly intimidating, you could find it useful if you give it a try. Check me out, for example. Take any person as an example, really. You can run this in theater. Well, I mean, if you had, like, Gone with the Wind or something like that, you know, if you had that kind of stuff in 16 millimeter, that would probably be, be better off. something that we would look for. Yep. Thanks, Bob. Well, we appreciate you bringing it in. Bones, <laughs> we appreciate it. Gentlemen. What did he expect us to do? We're a pawn shop, and this guy's bringing in porn. We don't pawn porn. All right, where's the hand sanitizer? To be quite honest, pawn sounds a lot like porn. My mind went to places that some of you would dream are reachable when I first heard this term. Number seven, fake teeth. This woman thinks she owns the TV in the front, which is why she is so upset. All right, honey, let's focus on this. This is not your own. Your security out your Why my out here on the floor? It's supposed to be in the back. What brand is your TV? That right there. Can Hit see it. Take it? Yeah, see him. If it's in pawn, it's in the back. If it's for sale, it's in the front. Why is my out here on the floor? Why is it a different brand? it's a different brand. Hold on, let me get this straight. She pulls out her teeth. A whole heck. For the sake of God, these teeth sprang from nowhere. I'm really pissed off. Go after me, old hag. Put Tell your me. teeth back in. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Oh, my God. This woman was out of her mind. Go to the window, give your pawn ticket. I'll be more than happy to bring out your merchandise. The manner she inserted them is even more disgusting. That crap was what ultimately broke me. Whoa, that woman is very, really bad. Come on, Rodney, get her. All right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Well, go get my. There we go. Where did that come? Okay, thank y'all very much. You made the birds of paradise fly up your nose. And that's that. On this one, she really let her imagination go. Ima tells her that the birds of paradise are a good source of fresh teeth, since you're in this place in need of some. Number eight, aspiring singer. Simply walking into the store, a wannabe singer puts an unknown microphone into an unknown radio and starts barking like a horse. Hey y'all, I'm an aspiring singer. I'm trying to make it to the top. One day, one day. Excuse me, sir. 
sir. Why you cutting my volume off? We can hear you. <laughs> Not only that, but the only place you could work as a singer is the zoo, where I highly doubt you'll succeed since I envision you getting attacked by a variety of animals. Are you interested in purchasing it? How much? For you, 80 bucks. I want to sing a song. Uh, uh, I'm going to be a star. You're going to be something, and all right? I ain't even going to give you a shout out. Are you just in buying this? No, I'm not. I need some money, honey. Good, show's over. Here's a tip. Stop singing. Is she really waiting for a gratuity? You are in a real store, girl. A business that is purely focused on selling stuff. And this entire thing is taking place on a stinking private property. What's she doing? I'm going to still sing my song. Hater, 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 hater. Hater, hater, hater. You a hater. Please, please. Come back here. Want to? I think this woman appears to be high on cocaine. It seems incomprehensible that someone would commit such horrible acts in public just to look silly and unattractive. Number 9. Chinchilla Scandal A lady enters with the intention of creating a significant issue. Ashley is charged with deceiving the woman by posing as a vendor, offering her a scarf made of rabbits rather than chinchillas. You sold me a rabbit. A bunny. I sold you a rabbit. This is like chinchilla to you. How much did you spend? Do you remember that? I know I spent the grip. Grip? What's a grip? What's a grip? Grip is a lot of cash, a lot of money. Okay. Sorry, Ash, but that was purely racist, not gonna lie. Not knowing what a grip is, is one thing, but asking Byron what it means is literally another. Disappointed. How do you know it's rabbit? Because my girl told me it was rabbit. I took it home. She it... threw it back at me and told me, this ain't chichilla, this is rabbit. I didn't sell you this. You sold no. me this. Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. It's in your ass. The receipts in my ass? It's in your ass. That was really arbitrary right now. Is it currently in Ashley's ass? Ashley is going to drag everything out and stuff it up your ass where the light doesn't shine. It's time to go, sweetheart. All right, you can take that home if you want to. But I want my money, that's all. Have a good day. Wearing that old ass That was a good shot right there. You play basketball? Have a good day. You too. Man, I spent good money up in this bitch. Why you so violent, girl? Go on up out of here. Now you're going to leave it? And that's precisely how you can tell that she wasn't genuinely giving this one much thought. She also didn't think it was from here, because she never would have left it if she had done both. Number 10. Counterfeit Ticket Two women walk into the store, straight up to the window, and give Nikki a ticket, and they want back a ring or something. To be honest, I have no clue. What the f*** you looking at it all, stupid folk, bitch? You can read? You want to say something? Ticket is a counterfeit ticket. No, bitch, I want none of this I'm a bitch on the motherfucking ring or nine motherfucking thousand dollars, bitch. I'll go get less to go get. I will piss ass. I don't give a f these two women are actually getting on my nerves way too much. Freaking treat Nikki like the human being she actually is, for God's sake. I drove all the way home to get that ticket. Uh-huh. Okay. I need to make sure it's here then. It's not our ticket. What you mean it ain't your ticket? It say American jewelry. And it may say that. So no, what the f is the issue? The issue is this is a counterfeit ticket. Now, f this Accept the truth, honey. Just accept it and do your walk of shame because, again, this is a counterfeit ticket. Repeat it with me, common counterfeit ticket. Bet you y'all gonna pay me for this $10,000 ring. Of course we are. I will be back with my turn. And I'll be more than happy to explain it to them. Y'all full of You picked the wrong place to f with the wrong pawnbroker. When they come back with their lawyer, I'll be happy to show them exactly how I know it's a bull ticket. Back with the attorney? I see you. I see you. If you can afford an attorney, then why the hell are you sad on such a ticket? For God's sake, just get on with your life. Number 11. Flip Split. This dude walks in, acting all goofy, like the boss baby he is. Wait, this might be his stripper name. But watch him put on a show never seen before on Hardcore Pawn. I have a question. I just saw you walk up doing this thing. Can you do that again? What? This? Try it. I, try this. Say I'm a uh, vulgar. Uh, you're a what? what? I vogue whatever like that, and I'm about to go to international. I never knew a guy could do that. It's like, ew, ow, doesn't that hurt? Dude, voguing needs a lot, a lot of strength. I actually applaud him for this talent, but looks like Bobby J is weirded out and Ashley is appreciating the guy. $500 isn't going to happen. It will. This isn't real. It is real. It's a real earring, that's, but it's not a real, real. stone. OK, y'all going to have to go back there and give my Gucci Gucci $500. Do you got that manager or something, girl? Me. That I could, oh, you the manager? Yeah. Oh, work sickening. You sickening down, girl. Work out.
First of all, asking for $500 is way too much. I mean, I'm guessing he added the small little show fee. Second of all, disrespect Ashley like that? Oh, hell nah. All right. Here. Give it to me in my hair, girl. Thank you. Thank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thought it was great at what he did. Stop eating. Stop eating. Well, I'm not paying you for your talent. I'm paying you for your earring. Smoke it out. I look better than you anyway. Okay. I look better than you anyway. Woo! Now, these moves are very impressive for sure. I would pay him $500 to do all that privately. I mean, like privately meaning in a real show. Anyways, good thing he's out. Number 12, tough customer. A girl walks up to the window wanting to pawn a necklace, but turns out she doesn't like waiting at all. I mean, it's been seconds. Come on, what is she doing? Now she's taking on my hey. For real, because you know we got to be at work in a minute. Excuse me. What? Come on now, boo, what you doing? Why are we popping? Um, I just gave him my necklace. Okay, so she's going to test it, right? How much did you want? 1500 200 How much? 200 200 Now we know why her man is rushing her that much. Turns out, he did not want her to know this necklace's value. This man is hiding some shit. He said he paid $5,000 for the necklace. That's a lot of money for this piece. Uh, I didn't think it was worth that. So you telling me I only can get $200? Uh, I can go to $250 if that would help you out. I need $1,500. You can't say no 250 man. I can't give you the amount of what you paid for it. Dog, get the out of my face, because you want that anyway, just no. gone. So you talking about 250? That's all you could do. Do you have any other jewelry on you? Uh, nuh-uh. I can go 250 for you. I can't, we can't that, man. Uh-uh, I'm good. Sorry. $5,000? No, I don't think so at all. He's probably lying about that. Well, I know one thing, though. Ashley was trying to help as much as she could. Put your hands. All right, go on. Just go out. I mean, this guy was, like, two feet taller than her. This is crazy. Go on. Just get the out. Go on and walk down eight miles on some real Get your ass in the car. Okay. Fuck. Open my mother up, like I said, it's man. like I said. For real. No. You talking to, man? He literally just pushed her. What the hell is wrong with you up in there? This man needs to be stopped for sure. Cause like actually WTF. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. I just had sold some earrings for a hundred dollars. Uh -huh. And I ain't, I'm not feeling that I want, the, want my earrings back. Once I give you the ticket, we have to hold them for two weeks for the police. Nobody never told me that. That's the law. Like I said, go get my earrings. How about no? Hey there everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with yet another hardcore pawn video, so get ready to see some best moments such as Number 1, this is Les. These two men come in to put some jewelry up for pawn. They seem really tight and decent. A mixtape is waiting. Let's see how much money they can make out of it. Okay, so well, what is it worth? Five hour loan. Five dollars? Go to buy yourself a large pizza. I can't buy my daughter a mother Slurpee with five dollars. Oh, sure you can, and then you can buy her a small Slurpee, and you can have three dollars change. Oh, he just tried to kill me. These two guys truly are simply acting like smartass clowns, isn't that right? All right, not at all. All I know is that there will be consequences if they carry on acting in this way. That's the ghetto brightling. No, that ain't the, the ghetto brightling. Is a brightling. Oh, you hear this mother? Number one, my friend, I'm not a mother. Number two is if you don't want the money, there's other places, go to them. $15, take it or leave it. Hell no, nah, man. There's the door, guys. See you later, alligator. Les knew how to handle these two pricks, for sure. Please, call the owner of the damned establishment a mother trucker. Whoa, you're really getting into trouble. So if I was to get stupid... If you get stupid, you would be the worst day of your life. Oh, oh, oh you gonna call the boys, I huh? I didn't call him, and he's not My a boy, man, but, he's a man. Uh, you gotta grab me, though? I grab Man. Okay, don't come in my store with us because at the end we'll escort your ass out of here how y'all ladies doing can i walk with y'all we out of here man FYLB. These people have genuinely lost any sense of logic. Is there any jewelry with a $200 value? It affairs me half too. I really do. They were annoying, and I'm relieved they're no longer around. Number two, glamorous man. Meet the guy with the talent for painting his nipples and bleaching his ass. He planned to pawn his fur coat so he could keep going to beauty school. Buckle up. This is going to be one wild and difficult journey. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not even looking. How you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah. Uh, how you doing? How can I help you? Well, I'm looking to sell this box trim fur coat. Auntie left it to me. She passed away about a year ago. I'm trying to go through beauty school. Almost done. Need a little extra cash to pay it off. Yes. It's clear to me that he could easily get accepted into a beauty school. I refer to the cosmetics he wears. Perfect. Unquestionably flawless. Awful. I apologize, but the makeup is really bad. Therefore, this is a joke. The wax. Ass bleaching. Yup. Anal bleaching. I've heard of that. Yep. Of course you have. I've been around a little bit. I paint my own nipples. Just a little paint. I'm uncomfortable dealing with this guy. He's wearing a shower cap and he paints his nipples. You can tell someone is serious about their beauty game when they have painted nipples and wear a shower helmet. However, 
However, he's most likely going to begin beauty school. Uh, 100 bucks? 800. Yeah, no, 800 is definitely not gonna happen. It is a nice coat, but it's gonna be about 100 bucks. About 100 bucks? Yeah, can't do it. Well, thanks for coming in and ruining my day. No, just have a good day, bud. All right, mother's gotta be proud. Oh, yeah. Kai looks like his mom. I brought you into this world, and you're leaving it with a shower hat and nipple paint. His mother must be asking herself. Of course, though, so there's no need to be concerned. Well, number three, converted Muslims. A woman enters carrying two sculptures of pigs. It seems reasonable that she would want payment for getting rid of them. Alternatively, if there isn't enough space at home, nevertheless, no. Mm -hmm. they're, they're very special. They're not just piggy banks. They're, they're, they grew up with me. I used to do this every morning, you know, with her, and he just watched. People come in here with with random items. Out of all the things that I've ever seen happen in American jewelry, I've never seen somebody bring in a pig statue. I now understand her motivation for making this decision. After all, we should honor all beliefs. But this is a statue, remember? Nothing more than just a stinking statue. I hit him in the basement, he found them. Right. I hit him in the garage. He come home, he say, honey, I smell pork. I say, and yeah. I had to get rid of them. I'm just trying to get whatever I can get for them, cash. They're, they're very special. I had to tell her anything to get her out of here. Problem is, is uh, we can't take these things in uh, because of the Food and Health Administration. They won't allow us to be able to take stuff in like this. We can't store it. Rich is definitely going along with her now that I know. The Food and Health Administration, is that right? Does that make any sense at all? Will that trick her? You know what? You sound like my freaking husband. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time. Ay, ay, ay. What's for lunch? Anybody got any barbecue? Upon entering the store donning such squalor, what exactly were you expecting? Are you asking your husband to smell pork everywhere? Number five, CPR dummies. As she enters, a lady tries to shove CPR dummies. I'll venture to suppose that you practice CPR on dummies just in case you're unaware. I can cite her. How did you get them? I work at a home care agency. We bought them so that our staff could be taught in our office. So have these been used? They have. They probably haven't used them in about two years. They were working the last two we used them. So how am I supposed to even know if these are working? Because I am not going to put my mouth on each one of these dummies. Have you ever done CPR? Yeah, <laughs> he naturally enters to do the task. The weirdest thing was tested on my lover who emerged out of the blue. This is really extremely scary. Did the chest go up? Yeah, uh -huh. the chest went up. He like keeps going. I didn't ask for him to do it 10 times. I asked him to do it once. His eyes were closed. I think those are his girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going a little faster than I should. There's, there's timing in between. We understand. Like, yes, he did find it really enjoyable. He truly believes that it is his girlfriend. Leslie, you truly did teach us how to perform CPR and much more, my buddy. How about 100? Thing is, these are two years old. I think it's a fair deal. Okay. Thank you very much. PR kit, $100. If she thinks we're going to sell these, she's a dummy. Well, the good thing, Rick don't have to worry about a date tonight. Fantastic. Les, Rick is going on a date for the whole night, and he just knows it. I would rather not even think about what he might do on his date. Number six, Miss Manners. Now this woman should be an inspiration to everyone in the neighborhood. Her atmosphere seemed to me to be an inspiration only. It's really time for us to start studying her manners. Who are we kidding, really? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I just had sold some earrings for $100, uh -huh. and I ain't, I'm not feeling that I want, the, want my earrings back. Once I give you the ticket, we have to hold them for two weeks for the police. Nobody never told me that. That's the law. Like I said, go get my earrings. How about no? First of all, they aren't your earrings anymore. Second, you need to be able to talk to Les and determine what you want to do the next time, for God's sake. By Man, law? Ain't no, by no law. Give me my earrings back right now. Here's the slip. Here's the money. What else do you need? Ma'am. And get my earrings. That's you know, I'm trying to keep my composure and I don't give you. a Give me my ass is going to go out of my give store. Give me my earrings. She had to be severely bipolar. This girl has had a complete change of heart and would do everything to obtain the earrings. Remove her from your ass, please. Punk ass bitch! Thank you very much. Hey, you bitch, bitch! Thank you, Miss Decency. Yo, bitch ass! Watch your ass! Punk ass bitch! Punk ass ain't keep my motherfucking. Have a good day. For sure, that! This just wanted your attention. Now you don't have to go home and work out. You did bicep curls. <laughs> but when all of her bitching brought her to the business's door, she bit her tongue somewhat harshly. Well done, Byron. Number seven, magic dirt. Get ready for a good helping of pseudoscientific rubbish as this genius attempts to sell what he claims to be magical burial dirt. Hold on to your broomsticks. This is going to get magical. If you believe in it, it has healing power. Why should I believe you? Sprained my ankle one time and actually healed up faster. How much you want for this? Uh, $100. I did some research, and even just an ounce of graveyard dirt from certain other areas in the United States 
is like 20 to 25 dollars an ounce. It's a good gimmick put on the shelf. Something very unique. Quite distinctive. Les, you're obviously kidding me. I know you're joking. All I know, however, is that obtaining soil for free from any cemetery is the same. The lowest I would go is 50 bucks. How much under $50 you are gonna go? 20 bucks. That's it. I can't go no more. It's a steal for 20 bucks. $12. 12 bucks. 12 bucks. Because 12 is my lucky number. Deal? $12. 12 bucks. Nice doing business nice with doing you. Nice doing business with you. All right. Thanks. Did you buy the magical dirt from the cemetery, Leslie? And for 12. The actual question at hand is how on earth he is going to make money from this burial gold mine. This jar of graveyard dirt, which has been blessed, for 100 bucks. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. If you'd like to buy part of it, a quarter of it for twenty-five. I think a quarter of it for twenty-five seems fair. You got a deal. Let me go measure out some of this dirt. I'll be right back. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. This goes to show you that a great salesman can even sell dirt. In less than a minute, Leslie sells 25% of the jar and reaps a startlingly hefty profit. It turns out that magical graveyard dirt is highly sought after in the enigmatic world of absurdity. Number eight, cab driver. A man who is waiting in line for a loan is stormed in and screamed at, but why is it even the case? I have no idea what's happening. Ashley helps. Supposedly the cab driver dropped this guy off here because he wanted to get money for his jewelry to pay the cab driver. Give me $45. We'll I, have to, I have to pawn this. Bullshit. Bullshit. You can waiting. just wait. You can wait. No, I ain't waiting no more. I'm going to get his woman and get her the hell out of the car and I'm gone. What woman? You have a woman in the car? Yes, I yeah. do. It's my girlfriend. He's asking yeah. you to wait five yeah. minutes? No, I'm out of here. Okay, then what you can go. I'm gone. Okay, go. Who the hell are you? I'm Ashley. Ignore Ashley, please. I've decided that because you will eventually get your money, you should wait for it without becoming irritated. Hey, get your hands off. Get your hands off. Hey, get out. No, hey. Get your hands off. Hey, don't, don't touch her. Don't. That's assault. I want her out of my car. You're wow. This mother is crazy. Is this dude even grabbing this woman to get her out of the car and grabbing her arm? What is wrong with that fucking hell? Whoa, this really is an assault. I'll drop days. you like a used rubber. Sounds get in your good. car. Go. Yeah. You get really want, you get, you get in, in your car. car. You and I have the best go. idea. I will call you a cab. He can be out his money I'm because he's here. demanding it. I've had enough of this. The boyfriend got in the taxi driver's face. I don't blame him. You don't touch somebody like that. This is a man who should have departed long before causing a commotion if he couldn't wait for the money. But the two did get a free trip, so they can now unwind in the knowledge that everything will be well. Number nine, magic trick a magician comes into the store with his sidekick in an attempt to perform a magic trick and earn some cash. I wonder whether it's even sincere. However, good fortune to you. But I don't do them anymore. And magic is meant to be shared. So I've decided to let it go and hopefully get it in front of an audience again. We got a solid steel blade. We're gonna put it right in there. Oh my God, this is scary. I'm not sure if this woman is weird overall or if the knife actually hurt her because that would explain her spooky smile. I'm actually concerned. Lock it. Okay, here you go. Here we go. Plastic full back, for real. Like, I can't do it. I really want to put Ashley in the box, do the trick, keep her in third. As long as she doesn't talk, I'm good. Let me out, I'm not kidding. Wait, I can't do this. Hold on, Sam. We'll let you out. I was in a rush to get out of the box because if Seth got a hold of those saws, my body could have been sliced in half. It's quite an incredible magic trick, and I would want to know how it's done, but I really do get you, Ashley. It might have been trimmed in half for sure. Seth should come in. Might be a good time for me to do a little bit of research, Seth. Size, I've seen him asking 2,500. So where was I? You want 800? Can't. I'd go 1,000 and that's it. $900. I wouldn't go another penny. All right, we have a deal at 900. 900, you got a deal. That is a really kind offer. There is also a big online market for it. How many magicians would kill for something like this? You have no idea. Oh no. Number 10, Flip Split. Entering the room, this boy acts like the boss baby that he is. This was his nickname if he were a stripper. However, witnessed him put on a performance that Hardcore Pawn has never seen before. What? This? Try it. Try this. Say I'm a uh, vulgar. Uh, you're a what? what? I vogue whatever like that, and I'm about to go to international. Ow! I never knew a guy could do this. It's like, ew, ow, does that hurt? He's very flimsy. Man voguing demands an extraordinary level of power. Even though Bobby J seems uneasy, and Ashley seems to be enjoying the dude, I still believe he has potential. Go, oh, split. Here. Give it to me in my hand, girl. Thank you. Thank. Thank you. 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 Well, I'm not paying you for your talent. I'm paying you for your earrings. Vogue it out. I look better than you anyway. Okay, okay. I look better than you 
anyway. First of all, asking for $500 is just too much. Well, he did add the nominal show price after all. Second, is that really how you defeat Ashley? God, please, no. These days, these movements are truly very amazing. I would give him $500 if he could perform all that stuff behind closed doors. Not like in a real show, but in private. In any case, that's nice of him. Number 11, Owner Doll. The man who brings in the Cabbage Patch doll, oddly enough, looks just like the doll, but it appears that he is being evicted from his apartment. Let's look into this. Hello. Hi, how are you guys doing? We're good, how are you? Um, I'm actually getting evicted from my apartment right now and I'm trying to get all my stuff out. So, what are you looking to do with? I'm looking to get $100 for it to help me out. Guy comes in with a doll. And crazy enough, the guy actually kind of resembled the doll. So, you know, it was weird. It was like, we're talking about a doll that looks like the guy and we're looking at this doll and kind of appraising it. You seem to be purchasing him? All right, chill. That was a joke. Dark humor. Anyway, I genuinely wonder why in the world would they even try to kick you out of your residence? It must be eerie. How about $10? Ten dollars. What is ten dollars gonna do me? Even at a hundred dollars, what the hell is that gonna do? A hundred dollars will help me move my <laughs> out. It'll feed where? my dogs if I have to, wherever I find. So the ten dollars will be a good start. The ten dollars isn't gonna be. Don't we just love the attitude? If you act really respectfully and, at the at least, try to convince them of a better price, you will have nothing to lose. Either you're gonna and you're up in here disrespecting me, trying to hand my yeah, shit back to me. It. I'm not having that. No. Are you kidding me right now? I understand that he's got some issues. You know, we all have issues, but don't tell me to go f myself. If I were to do this, that's disrespecting. You. What the f is your problem? That's how are you gonna throw my f on the f floor? I didn't mean to th pick that f up. Pick it up. Are you Insane? Everyone was talking to him about business. You absolutely don't discuss business like that, boo. It's not. In fact, every action has an effect. You got yours, buddy. Number 12. Fake teeth. The reason this woman is so irate is because she believes she owns the TV in the front. Let's get this celebration started, honey. This is obviously not yours. Why my out here on the floor? Supposed to be in the back. What brand is your TV? That right there. Hit see it. Take it. Yeah, see him. If it's in pawn, it's in the back. If it's for sale, it's in the front. Why is my out here on the floor. Why is that a different brand? It's a different brand. That's bull. Hold on. Let me get this straight. She pulls out her teeth. A whole heck? These teeth, God, they appeared out of nowhere. I'm enraged at the moment. Old hag, follow me. This is really disgusting. Put your you. teeth back in. Oh man, that's beautiful. Oh my God. This woman was out of her mind. Go to the window, give you a pawn ticket. I'll be more than happy to bring out your merchandise. Even more repulsive is the way she inserted them. That's what finally got to me, that crap. Whoa, that woman is very, really disgusting. Get my <laughs> not be out to the store, ma'am. Come on, Rodney, get her All right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Very much have a blessed day. Well, go get my There we go. Where's that coming? Out of you. All right. Ready Tell Hook to go. take care of you. I'm on Hook right now. Hey, Hook. You go. That's your ass. Stop saying. Outside. Thank y'all very much. May the birds of paradise fly up your nose. And that's that. On this one, she really let her imagination go. Emma tells her that the birds of paradise are a good source of fresh teeth. Since you're in this place in need of some, 